Hey y'all, it's me, Mika aka Monroe XO here, and welcome back to my channel. I'm back with a natural hair, sort of, kind of, video for you guys. I haven't done a hair video using my own hair in ages, so I figured I'd kind of get back to the basics and show you guys what, you know, you know what I was, what I was about. So, that's what today's video is. Today I am trying out Shea Moisture's Frizz, la la, Shea Moisture's Frizz Free Styling Defense Gel Cream. Um... Let's talk about it. <laughs> if you want to see my thoughts, how it went, just keep watching. And I'm also answering some of your questions about tech stocks in my hair, which, you know, I haven't been, I haven't been commenting back on all the old videos, but here we are today. Okay. They're getting answered. So I don't know if I explained in the intro already, I straightened my hair and it was a fail. So I am going to go in with this Shea Moisture Raw Shea and Kapukau, Kap Kapua Ka, Kapua. Frizz Defense Styling Gel Cream. Um, it defines humidity proof, thick and wavy hair. I do not have wavy hair. I have really thick, kinky hair. But since my hair is straightened, I feel like this might be a good twist out vibe. So we're gonna put it to the test. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna take these braids out that I made on my failed straightening and go from there. So. I mean, I ain't do too bad, but it ain't it ain't the best. I think I'm gonna do six braids. Okay, so it says dry to apply to wet damp hair, which my hair is neither of those. <gasps> oh, oh, it's very runny. <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna be runny like that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. Give it a little comb through. And I'm just gonna. I was gonna do twist. Should I do twist? Should I do a twist out or braid it? I'm gonna do twist. I haven't done twist in forever. Only thing I don't like about twist outs is I feel like we get more shrinkage, if that makes sense. Okay. That's one. Done. I may do more since I'm not doing a braid out anymore. So again, let's just comb through. I was gonna make that two sections, but I don't feel we want we need to. Um this time I'm gonna try and show y'all the consistency. It is running. This is definitely for um a less kinkier texture. So while I do this side, I'm just gonna watch some YouTube videos. Uh, right now I'm gonna watch Kat DeVisi while she does some um, Q&A questions while her doing her skincare. So yeah, cute time lapse. Um, I have a video coming up soon on how I feel like if you see that like I usually don't really do edges or anything like that but oh crap um postpartum was really hard on my edges so I've been doing a little routine that I think is helping and I'll probably share it with you after I keep doing it for a little bit I just want to make sure I'm consistent and it actually works, you know what I'm saying? I'm hoping that these two don't flake. I probably should have tested them together before doing my edges, but yeah. Might as well lay these bad boys too. Um, I guess I'll see y'all in the morning. Okay, next day, um, I just am going to make this um, take down a little bit fun for you guys. I am going to be answering your text text questions for my last video. And I figured that would be cool. So anyways, these are my twists. They've completely dried. They're still looking real, real juicy, real moisturized. You see, you'll see it, you'll see it. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm just going to go row by row right quick. There's no need. I kind of want to do a design in the front, but I'm not sure. 
I'm not sure. So let me turn my phone sideways because you know your girl is boring. So somebody asked what products do I use for my wash and goes? Um, typically I like to use Cantu. Oh, hold on. Oil. Let's put some oil on our fingertips while we're taking this hair down so we can prevent as much frizz as possible. Uh, for my wash and goes, I like to use, hold on, I just want to see what I got here. I just want to see what I got here. <laughs> um, I like to use mainly Eco Styler Gel just because I'm confident in it. I know its results. Like this one from Shea Moisture that we used to do this, I wouldn't use this for a wash and go. I, I feel like it's barely holding this, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to judge. I don't want to judge too quickly. So let's keep going. But yeah, those are my favorite product products for a wash and go. Um, somebody asked, does text laxing make your, your hair dry? Um, my hair was dry before text laxing. I mean, to be honest with you, text laxing hasn't really changed much about my hair except for the shape. No, I don't know. Yeah, the shape. Yeah, I'm going to say the shape. Other than that, it kind of just still feels the same to me. Um, yeah, I just think I got a longer curl. That's about it. So is my hair dry? It's just like it was before, which was dry. You just gotta keep her, you gotta keep her moisturized, you know? You gotta keep her moisturized, keep her happy. Okay, so somebody else asked which products do I use for my tech slacks and what products do you use for your hair care? Your hair is gorgeous and you're beautiful. Thank you, boo. Um, what products did I use to tech slacks? I think the very first time I used Ors, I've also used Just For Me. Um, yeah, I'm, it doesn't really matter, the product. I just think you need to pay attention to the instructions. And even though my hair is not fine, I still follow the fine instructions. Just cause I don't want my curls to fully straighten. I've gotten comments before from girls who said that they left the text slacks on too long and now they have full straight pieces of their hair. So we don't want that happening, do we? Y'all, this did not hold my hair at all. I mean, a little bit, a little bit. Somebody said, I was watching your old videos and was wondering if you're still text laxing. So I didn't text lax all of last year because I had a baby and I didn't want to put any chemicals. I don't think you're allowed to, are you allowed to perm your hair while you're pregnant? I don't know. But I'm definitely going back to the creamy crack probably in the next few weeks. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. Only thing, the only reason I think I haven't, um, use any text lax since having a baby nine months ago almost 10 months ago it's just because i've it's it's hard out here i ain't got no time i've literally just been putting my hair in braids and wearing either a wig or a bun mainly a wig <laughs> and that's about it i am getting a little bit of um like product coming out but yeah someone asked do i use the whole container of perm the very first time I did use the whole container of Texlax or Relaxer or whatever, and um, that was because I needed it. But anytime after that, I just touched up the roots, which also another question I got was, how did it come out with only touching up the roots? With Texlax, you have to be so careful because there's no way you're gonna get the exact same pattern every time. So I would just really, really pay attention to the time you leave it on. And, and um, when you rinse it out and stuff like that. There is loads of stuff just flying around, but I can't see it on my hair. Like, can y'all see it? I mean, I don't see no white stuff, but it is white stuff just all over in here. Um, yeah, so that's that question. I'm just gonna add some shine into the top. So this is what we're looking like with my results. Now I got an idea that I want to try, so we're going to try it. Somebody else asked about leaving the ends unprocessed. How does that work? I just explained that. Did I use just for me or a texturizer? I use both. Um, it depends on which time I did it. No different. I, I didn't find the results any different. They both kind of did the same exact thing. I don't know why I'm doing this with this. I didn't really notice a difference. They're both gonna process your hair. So it's up to you really what you choose to do. I think originally I thought using Just For Me 
would be less harsh on my hair, but baby, they do the same exact thing, okay? Is that even? We're gonna say that's even. Even if it's not, <laughs> don't tell me, cause I probably already know. How long did I let it sit? That is the question I probably get the most, like the most. Oh, I'm a bit, I got a little bit of, uh, what's that stuff called? Product build up. Um, that's the question I get asked the most is how long did I let it sit? And again, I'm gonna say maybe five to eight minutes is what I do. Again, I haven't text laxed in since, since before my kid was born. So I'd say, I haven't text laxed since 2018. So it's been a while for me, I'm not gonna lie. But um, I'll be back. I'll be back next week. But I didn't, uh, oh sorry. So yeah, so I haven't text laxed in a while, so I'm not exactly sure of the exact time, but I know that each time I do it, I do less, not less, like a lot less, but I'd say I'm, I'm cautious, okay? I'm cautious of the time. So if it's five to eight minutes, I'm probably taking it out at about seven, just cause I don't want to have any mishaps. You know, you know. Um, the next question is what is my, was my hair texture like? before text laxing and my hair texture, I have no clue. I know there's like 4A, 4B, 4C. I think I'm in that 4A, B, C range. Not A, probably 4B, 4C range. I don't know, I don't know. I don't wanna lie to y'all. But um, it was really thick at the root and then kind of a little bit less thicker towards the end. But I don't know if this hairstyle is coming out how I like y'all. But yeah, most of the questions are the same thing, like my hair type. A lot of people ask the same questions. Maybe I should put it in the description box instead of just answering individual comments because then they could just refer back to that. Do y'all actually look at the description box? I don't know, let me know. But anyways, I'm probably going to time lapse the rest. Okay, now lastly, I'm just gonna fluff it out everywhere. And I wish I had little clips, but I don't. Can I do that and keep that back? Or will that look funny? No, I like that. I like that. Looking like that. Looking like yourself, look. Smile real quick. Oh, I like that! And go this way, just so it's back and out of my face. And yeah, that is my final look. 